Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jay Bunny and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the perfect iced coffee for yourself in the morning before you get your day going. It's super delicious and refreshing, perfect for a hot summer day. So before we get going on the rest of the video, please go ahead and give me that like button pound. Um, I really appreciate you guys' support and go ahead and hit subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss any of the other videos that I put out in the future. So yeah, you guys, let's get going into the rest of this video. Okay, so when I bring my coffee to work in the morning, I actually use a Taco Bell cup, size large, that I obviously wash, and I have tops too, and it makes it super convenient for me to take, but obviously use whatever portable container you have. This is just kind of what I've been doing lately. This is absolutely the best instant coffee that you can buy, Cafe Bustelo Espresso Instant Coffee, always pure and flavorful like no other, and yeah, you guys, you will not wanna have anything else with your iced coffee after you try it with this. So yeah, you guys, for the large Taco Bell cup, I put three spoons, but keep in mind that is super, super strong and I drink the coffee for like three hours, literally. So if you want something a little bit milder, definitely go with like two scoops for the large cup is probably good for most people. So the next step you... <gasps> So the next step you guys is to add your sugar and today I'm using Splenda. This is my sugar of choice. Of course you can use regular sugar or brown sugar or even coconut sugar, whatever you prefer. But for mine, I really do love the Splenda because it's low on the carbs and the calories but it gives you the best flavor. So for this, I do two big scoops. Sometimes I do like a little bit more. So far we have three scoops of the instant coffee, two and a half scoops of the Splenda and now I'm going to fill water up to halfway on the cup. Okay, so here it is. I filled it up like halfway and now I'm gonna take my spoon and make sure I mix it really well because you don't want any of the dry coffee stuck in the bottom. And it should foam up a little bit, you guys, like this. Okay, so you guys, the next thing I like to add is this sugar-free vanilla syrup from Tarani. It is so good. And then they have even more exotic flavors on Amazon, so I'll link those down below for anybody that wants to give these a try because they are super delicious. So yeah, one big glug, like about a tablespoon, and then another one. So yeah, you guys, I put like two tablespoons in. Now it's time to add our creamer. For my creamer, I'm using Publix Half and Half. This is my favorite creamer, you guys. And I'm gonna put about two tablespoons in. Give your coffee another good mix. You're gonna want it about this lightness. For me, I like it to be strong coffee. That's why I put the three tablespoons in, but I also like it creamy. So with this, it looks light, but you're actually gonna get a lot of coffee flavor. So of course, since we're making iced coffee, the last step that we have to do is crack the ice. And so, yeah, you guys, I freeze my ice in these nice silicone ice trays, and that way you always have fresh ice in your freezer. It's great because they are so thick and cold that they last for hours. These are the best ice cubes. We're gonna take our iced coffee. One, two, three, four, five, six ice cubes. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that's the magic number to keep your iced coffee super cold. Make sure to give it a really good stir. And yeah, you guys, it looks amazing. Oh my God, talk about sweet, delicious iced coffee. Thanks so much for stopping by this quick morning video. I love making iced coffee every morning and I hope you guys start to incorporate this delicious iced coffee into your schedule. I really love it and I'm sure that you guys will love it too. So comment down below how you like to make your coffee. Do you like it hot? Do you like it with heavy cream? Do you like it with like flavored hazelnut or Reese's Pieces buttercream? Um, let me know, but yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys on my next video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you around soon. Later.